The American Crayon System, which abbreviates to Counter Rocket Artillery Mortar, also known as, known as IPWS, intercepts land based Falnex weapon system. The Cram intercepts rockets, artillery, drones, and mortar rounds while detecting them and can be used on sea or land operations. It's mounted on a 35 ton commercial trailer on the ground for land based operations. And for sea based operations, it is mounted on newer warships. The cram proves to be highly useful in field firing 3,000 to 4,520 cal self destruction rounds at a selective rate. Yeah, it's right there. Featuring closed-loop spotting technology to provide autonomous target detection and engagement at very high accuracy. They act autonomously with a high level of automation with a crew of at least four helping to operate it behind the scenes. The cram has a 60-70% to 70 rate of shoot down, which may seem low but when you think about how fast the supersonic and normal missiles travel at, this is a great percentage and definitely had some very good engineering behind it. The Cram's base gun is a 20mm M61A1 Gatling gun. The effective distance of fire is almost 1,500 meters with a maximum of 5,500 meters. The Cram was operationally deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan. While in Afghanistan, it provided timely warnings for more than 2,500 rocket and mortar attacks against the C-RAM. Equipped forward operating bases, C-RAM was also purchased by Australia and United Kingdom. The CRAM requires a holistic design to counter IDF threats, holistic meaning its majority a connected system with not many individual parts. It is estimated to build one of these units, it's up to 5.6 million US dollars and about $27 USD per 20mm round, meaning if they shot at full capacity, 4,500 per min minute, it would cost a total of 121,000 US dollars per minute. Although they don't shoot it at maximum capacity during training at sea or land, the earliest cram was developed early during Operation Iraq Freedom, September 2004. Enjoying freedom in order to pre protect ground forces and forward operating bases from their threat of rockets, artillery, and mortars. Although there is newer models still coming out and being developed, there are 20 such installations that were deployed at US naval bases, and 23 more systems were additionally ordered in 2008. That there are little more than 40 of them in total. The Centurion C-RAM is based on a well-known M61 Vulcan 20mm rapid-fire six-barreled aircraft gun with a rotating barrel assembly, which has been used by the US Air Force for 60 years, also used on the F-14 and F-A-18 aircrafts. If you have any thoughts on the C-RAM, please let me know in the comment section, or on any of its uh, newer models or older models. Thank you for watching guys, if you like this content please make sure to subscribe, thanks guys.